welcome back to the channel if you're new here i'm anna i'm a little bit spooky and today girl we we're gonna be talking some trash we are digging in my trash the beauty trash all of my empties from the past couple of months uh i've got a lot it, it suddenly just piled up <laughs> so so without further ado let's dig into my big old trash can here full of empties and talk all about it okay let's get started i need a drink of coffee first because i've got so much stuff in me Oh my gosh, it's it's just, it, it's excessive. Let's start with Bath and Body because that's the biggest items in front of me and I can get them out of my way. We have two Dr. Teal's thumbing baths. Love it, we'll always repurchase. Uh, I don't know how many of these I've gone through. It's my favorite foaming bath and this Common Serenity scent is also my favorite. It's kind of a rose scent i love it it's very relaxing and just nice and very luxurious feeling and yeah big fan of these and they do have the these are made with rose essential oil and uh, and with epsom salts so it does help relax your muscles so yeah love it love it will repurchase oh this is timely because yesterday was mardi gras <laughs> this is the mardi gras uh scent from Soft soap in the body wash. Uh, if you've ever smelled Mardi Gras, you don't want to smell like it, especially if you are around Bourbon Street. You definitely do not want to smell like that. But this is a really, really nice smelling body wash. It has kind of a warm, a little bit spicy, a little bit vanilla, a touch of citrus in there. Like it's just a lot of different fragrances going on. It smells like a candle, kind of, or like a home fragrance. I really like it. <laughs> I like the way it smells. And if I find more of these, I will probably repurchase it. I bought backups last year, year before last, when this came out because I like the scent so much. I think it was last year. And I finally have just gone through my stock of them. But you know, if I see it at the store, I'll probably pick it up just because I like it. And it's fun to use for a change. It's just fun to change up the body wash here and there and not stick to the same one all the time. I like a selection of scents. And experiences in the bath apparently and of course a gentleman's blend from old spice in the coffee amber love it have repurchased a million times now me and my husband share these i buy two at a time because we go through them so fast and yeah it's just a favorite warm cozy edible smell that just oh it's so nice and these have zero phthalates parabens and dyes within I really enjoy this whole gentleman's line from Old Spice. And yeah, this is just a very luxurious feeling body wash. It's kind of a, a richer, creamy formula. Very nice. Love it. And we have a body butter from Bath House. This is a small business located in Hot Springs. They used to have a location about 45 minutes from me here in Louisiana, but they, I think the store caught on fire or something. They closed. Anyway, they didn't reopen. But this is from Bath House Soapery, and this is the pumpkin butter scent. It smells like, it smells like fall. It's just, it's old. I've had it for like three years now, and I feel like it's kind of starting to turn on me and get like little weird specks in there. I, I don't want to put it on my body <laughs> because it's, it's just old, and it's time to let it go. But, oh, it smells very edible. I almost used it up. I think this is the most I've ever used a body butter because <laughs> I don't really like body butters. But because this one smells so good, I use the crap out of it, especially in the fall months. But I think it's just time to let it go because it's starting to look a little weird in the container. So uh, Next thing for body, we have, uh, speaking of pumpkin, sweet cinnamon pumpkin body spray from Bath and Body Works. Uh, yeah, this feels quite similar to that body butter just a nice fall scent and I've used almost all of it up and it's really old and sort of not quite smell like it did before so we're gonna let this go first time I think I've used up a body spray <laughs> and last thing for body bath and body here is some self tan drops from tanologist I got a little bit left in there and I just decided these tanning drops aren't for me they're a little streaky they're a little too finicky <sighs> I much prefer tanning mousses now. This was kind of my first foray into tanning. Wore these little tanning drops, but I feel like they just don't look as nice as good old 
false tan foam. These do go a little streaky and you gotta mix it with lotion. It's a whole thing. So yeah, I'm gonna let, the, let this go and it's only like a tiny bit left so I'm not that mad about it and I probably will not repurchase that. Hair, I have a lot of hair stuff to talk about. First thing I've mentioned these before in a product update, this is the Ozzy line of products. This is the Headstrong Volume Mousse, the Headstrong Volume Gel, and then the Instant Freeze. I'm throwing these away because uh, they make me itch. That's about it, and I didn't think they were that impressive. Uh, actually, well, these probably actually go to a friend, but they, they just made me itch too much to mess with. And okay, one more kind of a dud product here. This is the Tresemme Keratin Repair uh, Conditioner. It's just basic conditioner, nothing special. I'm just tired of trying to use it up. It's got about that much left and uh, it, it doesn't have that much slip or anything. It's it's nothing special to make me want to continue using it. So yeah, it's just, it's gonna go. It's, I mean, it's almost done, but I'm sick of it. Uh, I have a lot nicer conditioners now that I really enjoy. Speaking of conditioner, one that I do quite like is the Cantu with Shea Butter for natural hair. This is the Hydrating Cream Conditioner, which is sulfate-free, silicone-free, paraben-free, and mineral oil-free. This helps retain natural oils, reveals healthier hydrated hair, great for natural and colored hair. This is actually pretty decent uh, conditioner, very affordable. I quite like it. I don't care for the scent. It's just a kind of tropical coconut smell. I don't I don't like coconut smelling stuff. It's just, that's just the thing. I don't like the way coconut stuff smells, but this has a really nice slip to it. Uh, did a good job conditioning my hair. We'll probably repurchase it because it, it was really nice. And in a pinch, definitely a conditioner I would go to. And I'm proud of myself for using it up. <laughs> but yeah, I really did like that one quite a bit. And get very, very good price point on the Cantu products. Kind of can't beat it. What else do we have here as far as that goes? Oh, I also used up one of these Le Gloss, the Color Gloss, One Step Toning Gloss. This is from L'Oreal. It boosts shine, enhances color, deeply conditions, no damage, no mix. These are fantastic. I love them. This is the shade Silver White, which I think is my favorite. I use it to tone my little front bits. These are so conditioning. They always, I always have like a great hair day after I use these. Like, they're just good products, and they tone really, really, really well, especially for something from the drugstore, and they, they're they just incredibly effective, affordable. Uh, I think they're about the $10 price points. They're not the cheapest thing in the world, but they definitely work really well, and it's something pretty accessible, and they have exp expanded the shade range. There's a lot of shades now to choose from, and there's pretty much a color for everybody. I think they also have a clear one. And I would recommend picking up the clear one if you just want some extra like shine to your hair and hydration and conditioning because these are a great option for a hair mask. Speaking of hair masks, I do have one of those to talk about. This is the Palmer's Protein Pack, Moisture Boost Protein Pack. Didn't care for this. Uh, I feel like it just kind of, it was too much protein maybe. And I don't think it really did a whole lot for my hair because it make it feel kind of dry. It, it was it was just too much protein I think in this and I I just didn't care for it won't repurchase I much prefer the Cantu hair mask that is really affordable you can get catch it on sale and get it for like fifty cents sometimes and one packet you can get at least two uses from for myself personally and I have a lot of hair it's down to my butt again almost <laughs> it's time for a trim but um, yeah this one just. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. It was, it was, I found it to be quite drying and I guess I had just too much protein in my hair. I feel like it made my curls more frizzy and limp and just straw-like. Like it just felt very dry. I had to really balance it with a lot of moisturizing products because it was just protein overload. I have a R & Co Dallas Thickening Spray. It's a little, pricey but I do enjoy it. It has a great fragrance and it's pretty effective. I don't think it's anything that like is worth going out of your way for. I think you can find nice root lifting sprays at the drugstore but this one wasn't you know wasn't bad. You're looking for something a little bit more high-end but I think there's better options out there. However I did like the idea of those you know Dallas thickening spray. I expected more from it but it wasn't 
it wasn't the worst thing in the world and I do like the fragrance that it had. The uh, Kristen S one or the one from Pantene does just as well in my hair. A Harry's Sculpting Gel. This is what I use to uh, lock in my waves and curls as my kind of hold product and this is my favorite. It's still my favorite and I think it's fantastic. I've almost used up another one. <laughs> um, I'm on my third one now. But yeah, this is this is my favorite hair gel. It's got great hold, nice gentle fragrance. It's not overpowering. Very simple ingredients, curly girl friendly. It's kind of all the things and it's pretty decent price point and you can catch it on sale. But it's just a light kind of masculine scent, but nothing crazy. It doesn't linger, no itchiness, and of course, great hold. So yeah, this is a good hair gel. Have repurchased twice. <laughs> Another great hair gel that I really do like for a lighter hold is the Kristen S Curl Defining Jelly. This is really, really nice. It does, I feel like, help promote nice, relity curls in my hair, and it doesn't create too much of a cast. It's a little bit more of a lighter weight product and a little bit lighter hold, but not, not too much. And I went through this really fast. I feel like there's just not enough product in here. I want more product because I feel like this is one that is a little bit thinner in viscosity. I feel like I, I kind of feel like I'm having to use more of it. I don't know. I went through it really quickly, but I really enjoy it and will probably most definitely repurchase this one. <laughs> also, it has a really nice fragrance. I've raved about this, I think, in my yearly favorites and in product updates. Good stuff. Definitely, yeah, will repurchase the Kristen S. Curl Defying Jelly because it is a lovely fragrance and works pretty dang well. We have... A couple of things from Not Your Mother's. I have found some stuff from Not Your Mother's that I've really been enjoying. I really like the Curl Talk Mousse. This is a great option if you like the Bumble and Bumble lightweight kind of volumizing curl boosting mousse. I can't remember what it's exactly called. This is a great drugstore alternative to it. It's not quite as moisturizing, but it has really good hold, does the job, and I enjoy this and will Definitely be repurchasing it. Right now I've got a couple of mousses I'm working my way through. But yeah, really like this quite a bit. Really good hold and a decent bit of volume. Nothing crazy, but it was a good product. And I really, really like this. This is the Not Your Mother's Kinky Mousse Curl Defining Hair Cream with Grape Seed and Jasmine. This definitely, I feel like, helped encourage curl in my hair and helped get nice juicy clumps. Really nice product, you only need a tiny bit, it's very thick, but I don't feel like it weighed my hair down or made it greasy feeling. It was a really nice first step, kind of, I use it more as like a leave-in product and then smooth my hair out brush style and then go in with the gel afterwards or the mousse and gel afterwards and or, depends on my mood, but this was a great product. I wish the tube was bigger because I went through this pretty quickly because <laughs> it's it. I end up using it almost every day because I really did like it. Or every wash day because I enjoyed the results I got when I used it. Okay, got a couple of hairsprays here. Oh, I got one more mousse. This is the Aura Bay Grandiose Hair Plumping Mousse. This is a great mousse. Very expensive mousse. And if I just had money to burn, I would be buying the Aura Bay products all the time because I like the fragrance of them. I think they're very effective products and I enjoyed this. I think it did great volume in my hair. Felt nice, good hold, thoroughly enjoyed, and uh, I'm sad I used my little sample up <laughs> because I really liked it. And I know there's good drugstore mousses that I cannot bring myself to spend Orbe prices on a mousse because I use them up really quickly. If you have wavy curly hair and kind of do the whole wavy curly lifestyle, you go through some products. So <laughs> yeah, two hairsprays. That I really like. First is the Authentic Beauty Concept Working Hairspray. This is like a super duper crazy hold hairspray that you could just spray in your hair. Let it dry like that and your hair would stay. It was incredibly strong spray. Uh, not the best fragrance. It actually smelled kind of bad. <laughs> but it worked so well. And I really, really liked it quite a bit. And this, this can last me a long time. And yeah, this would be something I would repurchase because this was really good. Really, really good. And my holy grail of hairsprays, the Pantene airspray, which I cannot find anywhere. 
have they discontinued this? I'm gonna have to go buy like a stockpile when I do find them somewhere. But this is my favorite because it's alcohol free. It does not have alcohol in it, so it doesn't dry your hair out. You can, oh, it's so good, especially if you have curly wavy hair and have dry hair. This one is great because it doesn't dry your hair out, but it gives you great hold. I mean like fantastic hold. It says a level three. I think you get better hold than that out of this. And it has frizz control, no drying alcohol. Yes, yeah, stronghold, frizz control, locks out humidity, adds shine, beautiful, healthy finish. It does everything it claims to do. It is one of the best hairsprays I've ever used. And it is so lovely and just did such a good job in my hair. Really, really helped hold my style without it getting frizzy or anything like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm working through some hairsprays that I have right now until I can stockpile some more of these. Is this was this is the holy grail right here this is the best one if you know some alcohol free hairsprays please let me know down below in the comments i am on the hunt to find some preferably drugstore <laughs> or more affordable please do let me know if you have any because i like a good alcohol free hairspray uh, regular hairspray makes my hair feel incredibly dry because i have very dry hair <laughs> apparently I've got kind of dry, uh, I think you would call it porous hair. <laughs> so alcohol free is kind of the way to go for me. It really does benefit my hair type. All right, skincare. I do have a little bit of skincare here. I used up my Dr. Dennis Gross Universal Daily Peeling Pads. These are my holy grail favorite, favorite exfoliate, chemical exfoliating product. These changed my skin. like noticeable difference within a few days of using these amazing cannot say enough good things about them i am definitely gonna be purchasing this i want to try the extra strength i think this is in my year in favorites I, I i adore this product so much and he yeah, happily will repurchase a big box of these i think they do sell a larger container of them as well a little expensive but the results i saw from this worth it definitely worth it uh, my skin never looked so good <laughs> like smooth fine line reduction clear no breakouts it was just it was kind of miraculous for me and it, it was definitely one of those game-changing skincare products that i could immediately point to and say that did something for me right off the bat and changed the game um, another little skincare product here we have the derma e vitamin c renewing moisturizer this is just old so it's got to go it was a really nice moisturizer, and if you do see it for sale and are in, on the hunt for any moisturizer, this is a great option. It's fairly affordable. I think you can get it at Walmart, Ulta, Target. Really nice, really thin consistency. Nice, good if you have oilier skin type because it is thin. It sinks in. It sits beautifully under makeup. It's one of the best like priming type of moisturizers on the market, I think. Very lightweight. Uh, really good if you have oilier skin and even if you don't I think it's a really good moisturizer and this has probiotics and rooibos I don't know but I loved it it just it's old so it's got to go I've used up a good bit of it but it's getting that banana pudding look to it that vitamin c products get when they're old so it's got sicko so it, oh I sound like Nancy Pelosi just then it's got sicko I used up a clear pore cleanser mask from Neutrogena. This is like an old school product that I've repurchased so many times that I've probably used since I was in high school. <laughs> but there's something about an old trusty product like this. If I'm having some bad acne times and just need a little extra something, this was the product I, I would go for. And this one has been hanging out for a long time in the bathroom because I found other skincare products that were taking care of the problems like the Dr. Dennis Gross stuff and the Dr. Dennis Gross face wash that just really wasn't reaching for this at all so I finally just used it up uh last week and said okay we're gonna finish this up so we can get rid of it and yeah I'll, at some point in the future probably repurchase this I enjoy it is it anything crazy groundbreaking or great no it'll dry your skin out a little bit it's very old school very I know <laughs> there's better things on the market there's just something satisfying about it. I like to use it as the mask option 
for deep cleansing and extra shine control. So yeah, and this is made with benzoyl peroxide. If you're very acne prone, this is a really good face wash for you, especially if congested skin, this does help. So it does work. I, um, I have very congested oily skin. So this, this does work for me, but the skincare routine I have right now, I haven't found myself needing this. <laughs> so that's nice. Uh, one more skincare item. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. This is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I loved this. It's a little sample size I got from Fresh. So nice. It has a lovely soft rose fragrance to it. It's very gentle. It has amino acids and yeah, doesn't burn your eyes even. It says you can use it around your eyes and it's just incredibly gentle. Really, really comforting. Nice type of face cleanser that I have come to enjoy. These kind, these types, more so than something so hardcore as that Neutrogena. Sometimes your face just needs something nice and gentle. This was great for to use while I was doing like my double cleanse or in the morning if I need to wash my face. This was great and would happily repur or purchase this. This was sent in PR from Fresh, but uh, would not be mad at uh, getting some more of that. <laughs> I've enjoyed everything I've tried from Fresh so far. I've tried a few products that they've sent over and I really liked them. They're really a great sensory experience. And in case you're curious, my Starbucks that I'm drinking right now is a Blonde espresso with oat milk, toasted vanilla, oat milk, blonde espresso. They're out of brown sugar. Okay, let's move on to a little bit of makeup that I am done with or used up or emptied out, whatever, what have you. Lashes, I did use this pair of lashes from Kiss. This is the Meredith Duxbury Limited Holiday Edition. I don't remember what style this is. It doesn't say on here. But yeah, I really like these. They're quite big and bold for me, but I enjoyed them. I just trimmed them down a good bit, kind of treated them more like half lashes. I'm wearing not this style today, but another style from Kiss and Meredith Duxbury. And I've just trimmed them down to make kind of half quarter lash situation. I think they look great that way on my eyes because I have little small shrimp eyes and lashes can overwhelm them. And trimming them down to like where you trim off Half <laughs> is a great technique to kind of make them fit my little eyeballs. So yeah, enjoy these. Love, love Kiss Lashes. They are my, they're my favorite lash brand. They always have been. And they, I guess, saw me talking about them or something. They started sending me PR and I am so tickled with that. So expect a lot of Kiss Lashes over here, even though that was the ones I bought anyway. <laughs> expect even more but it did it got me to branch out and try some new lash styles which is really fun like I'm actually trying these larger lashes that I've been more I guess like didn't think would work for me not necessarily like intimidated but I just didn't think they would work on my little shrimp eyes it's made me try them and realize oh I can make these work for me all right and we've used up an all stay all night microfine setting mist from elf one of my favorite setting sprays this is a beautiful product Really nice fine mist. Just all around, I love this setting spray. It's so good. I want it in a jumbo size. <laughs> I've gone through about at least two of these and have repurchased them every time because they're that good. I enjoy it. They got the new one with the blue light filter I want to try. I just keep forgetting. I walk past self display because I'm looking for like the halo glow or something else and just totally forget to pick up another one of these. Currently, I'm working on uh, my Wet n Wild Natural Finish trying to use it up. I've got clear polish on, but a little corner of it's like peeling and it's catching my hair and it's driving me insane every time I move my hair. What, what is this? What, what's going on here? I'm having a weird hair day. <laughs> it's just a weird one. I use too much protein, so things are odd in the hair situation. Mostly, I just really need a haircut because it is. Down to my butt, there's too much. It is too much. And it's taking a long time to dry and style and it's getting really weighed down just because there's so much of it. So anyway, we're having a bit of a, a, bit of a weird hair day. All right, two eyeliners that I'm just getting rid of because they're really old. Uh, one's a Sephora one. This was a really pretty color. It's kind of like a shimmery taupe, but I just never used it. Now it's like really old. So it's got to go. 
Uh, this is an old one from Tarte that is just far too old to hang on to. And it was such a pretty like bronze, like dark blackened bronze with a little bit of shimmer to it. I loved, loved this, but my gosh, this has just been in my collection so freaking long that I can't remember. And yeah, it's definitely, it's time to go. It's like going to give you an eye infection time to go. It's just been stuck in a little container until I totally forgot it existed. Actually, I think it was just shoved in a drawer. Uh, I did use up this mascara. This is the Workout 24 Hour Mascara from Clinique. This is a great, like, I, I don't know if this is a tubing formula. It might be. I can't remember now because I've used it a while ago. But, uh, yeah, this is a really good one. It does wear incredibly well, especially in the summer months. That's when I used this, this up and just had it shoved in the drawer and kind of forgot about it. And I was like, okay, we need to declutter that because it's definitely expired. But I used this during the summer because it is waterproof. Or workout proof it doesn't transfer or anything like that it has great wear time decent amount of length volume nothing crazy but definitely is a good one for like the everyday and yeah nice stuff wouldn't be mad at having more of that for the summer months if we're just running out the door another mascara here this is a uh, from the brand called new skin and this is the new color light shine curl lash mascara in black I still have it in the box here I opened it, I used it once, and decided it was awful. And then it just, it, nope, don't even want it. It was terrible. But it did absolutely nothing for my lashes, and it was just like, what's the point? I feel like, I like I don't, there was something about, else about it that I didn't like, but I can't think what it was. But I don't know. I just really didn't like this. It was just kind of a why bother mascara. It did nothing. It just kind of tinted my lashes black and that was it. No curl, no volume, no length, nothing. Absolutely nothing from this one. One more eyeliner I did use up. This is a Sigma Wicked Gel Liner Pencil. Finally used this little guy up. Definitely one of the best black eyeliners on the market in my opinion. Good stuff. We'll happily have another one of these. And yeah, really nice. It lasted me a good while. Stayed creamy a long time. Really nice product. Wore great on the eyes. Did transfer a little bit, but nothing too terrible. I have very, very watery eyes, so everything kind of transfers on me a little bit. But this was one of the better options of a gel liner that I've used. Uh, it wore a really long time. You had a little bit of play time to kind of blend it and smudge. Really liked it. Beautifully, beautifully jet black. Very intense. Okay. And then we got three brow pencils. Elf. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. This is like the really, really affordable one. I've used one of these up, and this is in the shade, I think, Dark Brown. I can't remember. Probably. But yeah, this is a good little just go-to brow pencil. Quick, easy. Nothing super precise or anything like that. It's just a nice, solid CoverGirl Brow Pencil. This is the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. This is my favorite one of all the drugstore ones, I think. The color of it is absolutely perfect for my brows because it's more cool tone. It doesn't pull red or anything like that. And just, it looks really nice, very easy to use. I like the formula of it. It, it is definitely my, my favorite of the little skinny brow pencils from the drugstore. And I use the shade Soft Brown. It's actually quite dark. If you have lighter hair, definitely if you're on the lighter side with the brow pencils because soft brown to me can definitely get you through to being like a brunette. It's really a really nice pencil though. Great formula on that one. It it stands out to me among all the little mini brow pencils, especially for the color because it has just a very neutral, almost cool undertone to it. No warmth. It's not going to pull gray, but it's not going to pull red. It is... Just a perfect Goldilocks brow color. Uh, next is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Micro Pencil. And this is the shade Ash Brown. I think I really like this one as well. This is my other favorite. Yeah, this is definitely my other favorite one from the drugstore. The Ash Brown shade, it has a nice depth to it. You can apply it lightly to get a lighter application. But it definitely can build up and match my brows really, really well. Perfect tone. Very... Nice ash color, but not green ash. It's just that kind of, just cool enough, but it doesn't pull warm at all. It's perfect. It's perfect for my brows, and I love it. 
We'll repurchase both of those brow pencils because I'm a, I am go through some brow pencils and brow product because I naturally, you can't see my eyebrows if I don't have it in. I, I'm one of those people that have basically naturally bleached brows that I have to dye and do a lot of work to to make them show up on my face. There's a lot of hair there, but it's just uh, low density and white. <laughs> so it, it's got to be tinted and uh, filled in a little bit, especially in the tail region. But okay, I think that is all my empties. Oh, and one beauty sponge I'm throwing out just because it's old and it's hard and it's feeling dry. So, okay. Is that everything? I think it is. Another empties down. I will be saving up some more product, of course. Some more empties to show you. I love doing empties. I think they're fun. I like, oddly, I like saving up the products for empties videos. I don't know why. It's just a fun little project to do and just to see how much I accumulate. And it also encourages me to use up products that are like this much left in them and finish them up so they can be in the empties video. It's, it's satisfying. It's a very satisfying experience. That is all for today. Thank you for hanging out with me, going through my trash. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe and stay spooky. Bye now.